to Sports News Today. Tonight, England are through to the semi-final of Euro 2024. Lewis Hamilton has won the British Grand Prix and the English Red Roses have lost to the All Blacks in the first test. Stepped back from the brink of a Euro 2024 exit again as they secured a semi-final place with victory over Switzerland on penalties in Dusseldorf. <laughs> Gareth Southgate's side who were rescued by Jude Bellingham's spectacular late equaliser in the last 16 against Slovakia were in trouble once more when Briel Mbolo stole in at the far post to put Switzerland ahead with only 15 minutes left. <sighs> Okaya Saka then produced a moment of individual brilliance of the sort England have relied on heavily throughout the tournament to equalise with a fierce low shot five minutes later. Extra time fails to find a winner, England going through with a set of flawless penalties after goalkeeper Jordan Pickford saved Manuel Akanji's first spot kick. Cole Palmer, Jude Bellingham, Saka and Ivan Toni were all successful before substitute Trent Alexander-Arnold hammered home the decisive penalty in front of England's delirious supporters. They can now look forward to a semi-final against the Netherlands in Dortmund on Wednesday at 8pm our time. It will be the first time the two countries have faced each other in a major tournament since the group stage of Euro 96. New Zealand have edged past England with a 16-15 win in a thrilling opening test in Dunedin to kick-start Scott Robertson's era as head coach with a win. Damien McKenzie kicked two second-half penalties to overturn England's advantage after Emmanuel Feyi Waboso's try opened up a five-point lead for the visitors. England started brightly after the break and Faye Waboso's finish in the corner after some powerful work at close quarters gave Steve Borthwick's side belief of ending their 21-year-old wait for a win in New Zealand. Mackenzie, however, recovered from two missed conversion attempts in the first half to bang over six points and hand the All Blacks victory in their first game since last year's World Cup final defeat by South Africa. The fly half could have stretched the host's lead further late on, but he was timed out of taking another penalty on the shot clock. England will look to avenge their defeat in the final test of the two game series in Auckland next Saturday. Lewis Hamilton has won a race long fight with Max Verstappen and Lando Norris at a gripping, wet, dry British Grand Prix to take his first victory since December of 2021. Hamilton had just enough to hold off a late charge from Verstappen's Red Bull to take his 104th career win and his ninth at home to become the record holder for victories at a single circuit. Verstappen, who had struggled for pace through much of a race that was hit by two separate periods of rain, came alive in the closing laps to take second place from Norris, who grabbed the final position on the podium. Hamilton, who was... Driving in his last British Grand Prix for Mercedes before his move to Ferrari next year appears to be in tears in the car as he told his team this means so much to me as they congratulated him over the radio. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff described the win as a fairy tale for them and Hamilton. That's the episode. For more from us, visit our Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Tom and Ben News for UK. Link provided in the descriptions box below, or you can use the Facebook app.